Yes, and Twin then Insignias. Diabolic. There are two published, and then okay. number three is coming. Yeah, do you want this year? Talk, it should be. Do you want to talk more on that? <laughs> okay. Shall we, shall we go into so, that? Yeah. Her, she is announcing something amazing <laughs> on the podcast well, <laughs> today. You probably already announced it. Well, um, Diabolic three. Uh, so I just got it up, copy edit. So I'm going to work on that. Um, Diabolic three. I mentioned that the second Insignia book vortex took me a while to write. Um, and I thought Diabolic two was easy enough to write so I was like oh okay well it was a little tricky but every book is tricky but uh I thought I was past that I thought that wasn't gonna happen again and then with Diabolic 3 when I wrote out I'm a planner I like to know what's going to happen Mm. in my book so uh when I wrote out what I'd planned for Diabolic 3 it was not working it was really really I was really struggling with that story and uh when I wrote it it was just it didn't work. And uh, I sent it to my editor and he's like, uh, yeah. So he kind of agreed with me there. So it's just, it's like, oh man, I have to completely rethink this book. So I've been actually very delayed with Diabolic 3 because um, what I did next is I just was like, I have to just try something completely out of left field, something that's just absolutely different from what I had in mind. And um, so I did with Diabolic 3. I wrote a different draft entirely. And um, so just uh, I'm going to have a little bit of spoilers for Diabolic 2. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so Diabolic 2. So there are two main characters in the Diabolic. Um, it focuses upon a galactic empire. And there's the main character, Nemesis, who is this genetically engineered uh, bodyguard for peop- for basically uh, where they are bonded for life to just one member of this elite aristocracy in this galactic empire and the other main character is tyrus who is uh in the first book he is the heir to the empire and now i'm going to go into spoilers in the second book he is the galactic emperor and um basically the way things develop with nemesis and tyrus is by the end of the second book they are enemies and tyrus has sort of become this corrupted emperor so um when i was writing diabolic three all right uh you know so i had this scenario between these two characters and so the first thing that i planned on writing it was not working so i just had to completely rethink it so i was like okay what if nemesis is just enraged in this book and she just wants revenge and so i i decided to just go out and write that draft and i was having a lot of fun writing i was like yeah she just goes on a rampage a killing rampage across the galaxy and just abandons all morality and you know i had her kill off most of the other characters in the book and then you know oh take gosh. over the empire become galactic dictator essentially and you know just that's a huge much spoiler everything the time. <laughs> well this is what i planned oh, okay. That's <laughs> well, what you not plan. what i planned oh, sorry okay. this is the second draft the okay. out of left field one gotcha and she just takes it over, becomes dictator, and then blah, 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 you know, ended it. And uh, then I sort of read it, and I was like, oh, my God, she's just too evil in this. She's evil, you know. Can't have her be this evil. So I um, toned She's worse it down. than Hitler. <laughs> she was really, really bad. She just was like, it was so much fun to write, but she was... She was just too evil. What does it saying about you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it says about me. <laughs> I like you got that. It's all good. That's it was funny. a lot of fun to write, That's but awesome. it was just I was just kind of aghast when I read it afterwards. I was done. And so I toned it down a lot and sent it to my editor and he's like, She's just too evil. And I was like, No, she's still too evil, no. So I had to just throw that one away too. She'd been like, Hey, you should have saw this one. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, Whoa, what did what? Actually I, I may I may show it one day <laughs> in the distant future. <laughs> A morbid all evil alternate universe. But yeah. uh anyway, so then I threw that away and then I sort of it was like writing that hideous hideous uh, evil second draft it kind of it kind of loosened something in my brain I figured out how to make the first plan that I'd had how to make it work you know and I knew it I knew how to do it and I was kind of like okay I I get it I have the dynamism of the plot back and I can make it function the way it is so um essentially yes uh that is what has caused a slight delay so it's been about two years instead of one year with getting diabolic three out um so yeah that is what's been happening with that book (laughs) gotcha but eventually it'll come out and that sounds like an amazing series (laughs) i'm going to get into 
<laughs> for sure because that sounds great <laughs> and i want to see i have to see it now i gotta read it to see how diabolical it is <laughs> it was a little too diabolical in that that <laughs> second attempt <laughs> so yeah um i know J.R. tolkien he has they talk about where he, he has a lot of edits in like the hobbit and you can find like the original version but they had to edit a lot of it out oh really um do you save your old drafts i save everything yeah, yeah every good. Uh, um usually i try to save a copy every time i've written for the day so a different yeah. copy and which can be a real pain because sometimes i'll just be very indecisive and keep going back and to the older version or to the previous thing or cutting in okay let me take that scene that i discarded and put it back in but um it's you know it's scary not to save yeah different copies of it so you yeah. know you can get really entangled in the process but yeah you well, just have to figure out your own way <laughs> yeah from my perspective i was just thinking man when you're on stage one day and you have to like talk about the book maybe possibly where they're like hey how did they orig- where did this originally come from <laughs> well originally this person was like stalin like and wanted to destroy mass genocide everything <laughs> but i had to tone that down <laughs> that, that's not too far off actually <laughs> uh but you know it's like it's like looking back i i I've reread it a couple times. I'm like, what was I thinking? I can't write her this way. <laughs> but I think it was a necessary attempt to kind of. Yeah. It's a part of the journey. Yeah. It was, it was a necessary yeah. exploration of what not to do. Like, but yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so where uh, can people reach you? Uh, 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 social I'm media on, wise. Um, I occasionally post on Twitter, but mostly I'm on Instagram. Okay. And uh, Instagram, I post on SJ Kincaid Books. That's my handle. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. And she also has a website. And on, I'm on Tumblr, SJ oh, Kincaid Tumblr. Books. Right. So, but I have like five people who follow me there. So for some reason, it doesn't really. I don't post there much. So I don't remember the last why. time I used Tumblr. I know. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. I know. <laughs> that's cool though. <laughs> I never used it at its height, and so. <laughs> you never know. There's a there's a thing where a lot of people are circling back through like. The, the, the people who used to like be on tumblr they like got out and then they're like oh, i'm gonna go back on there and look at right. into it you never know you can find a little niche oh, no, market. myspace is gonna come back <laughs> <laughs> i i think myspace no was it napster i don't remember napster, oh, napster. napster. no napster was the music thing uh what was that? i thought napster had a little comeback recently i don't napster, remember exactly. really yeah i i think somebody i might be wrong don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know i heard something somewhere but <laughs> I'll so, look into it. <laughs> well, yeah. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? Um, and so you have six, five books. Five published? books out and five one out, coming. One coming on the way. Should be this year. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't realize people been telling me they're like, nah, that's not true. At first, so I was like, you guys got scammed, but no. That's really That's what cool. people tell me. I was like, uh, no, no, no. no. If it, it was, uh, you know, that, yeah. that could happen. Yeah. That's really cool. <gasps> wow. <laughs> you know what? Hard. It's fine. Just leave it. Here, I'll go. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. I found out they're only like 10 bucks online. Still, that's cool. Yeah. You have a piece of marsh for like 10 bucks. That is awesome. Apparently. Am I, what if it's not? What if it's like not really a piece of Mars? Well, you won't find out until we actually bring back pieces from Mars, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so until then, <laughs> it's close as we come. Close as we can. Yeah. I have most likely a piece from Mars. Would you go to Mars? I'm going to ask you that at the end of this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah? <laughs> Even knowing you couldn't, if you, if it was like you couldn't come back to Earth. That's a difficult. That's a difficult thing. A lot of people will say yes because they would just want to do that, even though really I think it's a hor. It, it it technically is a horrible idea. You're going to go there and probably die. Yeah. And we don't have the technology for it. I would do it still. Yeah. Like I don't know. Be one of the pioneers. Yeah, it'd yeah. be an experimental thing to go try to do. Yeah. Um. I think I'd so. miss rain too much. I would miss a lot of things, mm-hmm. too, but I don't know. I mean, what, what you can That'd live, be a really great you can horror movie, though. Think about it. Oh, the first course. people they send to Mars, like a dozen people, and then they just slowly go insane there because they can't stand it. And yeah, stuck yeah. For the rest of their lives, it, and they know it. Exactly. That'd be a good movie. It'd be dark. 
Mm-hmm. It would be. <laughs> if it ending, they all have to die. <laughs> Make it really dark, really good. And there's what Prometheus is like that, where they. Oh, is it? I haven't seen Prometheus. I love the alien movies. Do but you? I've heard not so great things about. I thought I like I liked it. It's been a while since I've seen it, so I don't remember the full plot. But yeah, I think the plot was a little. Eh. Like, but you, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Okay. From what I remember, no. <laughs> so I watched so many movies. I'm just kind of like. Eh. Do you see Event Horizon? Event Horizon? Mm -hmm. Is that the one with... uh, Remind me. I think I have. Did they come out recently? No, it's an old one. It's an old one? Where they they encounter this ship that uh, I guess all the people went insane and killed each other and then... Oh, I've heard of that one. I don't think I've seen it. You should see that. It's it's really uh, chilling. Okay. Is it early 2000s? Probably. Is that the one one where the the aliens kind of take over? Or it's like... It's like micro or uh, microbial aliens like take over your brain. It's been a long time since I've seen like, it. And they start like killing each other. I've spent a long time since I've okay. seen it, but it yeah. could be. Okay. And there was something in, I think involving a black hole or something. Yeah, and, maybe not yeah, the same yeah. one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a good horror yeah. sci-fi. What's that one with um, oh, the the ship that shows up and they don't know what's going on and it has a uh, has a famous actress in it. it. Came out a few years ago. Oh, Arrival. Arrival. That um, was intense. I've heard that's amazing, and I actually have a copy from Goodwill, but I haven't watched it yet. Okay. So, yeah. You should, Everyone says it's so good. I think yeah. you should watch it. It's it's yeah. really interesting. I, I read the spoilers already for the oh, really? solution to so it. Saying, I, yeah. I, I can never avoid you're spoilers. Right. I, I always, it's so hard. I can't resist them, I should say. Yeah. I, I could avoid them easily. I have successfully it. still avoid, avoided all the um, Star Wars spoilers. Well, what happens one. is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been recording uh, like five minutes. Oh really? Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay. Are you still recording? <laughs>